Bernie Sanders says future generations are going to look at our dependence on fossil fuels and wonder what we were thinking. Joke's on them, there's not gonna be any future generations. <laughs> Baga! 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 <laughs> Did you know that you're the first white driver that we've ever had in one of these cars? Stop, that's like racist. It is not, I'm just saying what's happening. Well, at least he has a job. Do you have like insurance? Uh, no. Well, you're not gonna have Obamacare either. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, how long was that reading? I don't know. I fell asleep. Oh God, um, look who it is. Wow, um, what are you doing? Driving? Uh, uh, Daniel, this is Paul Mitchell. He wrote this amazing memoir. I'm sorry, I'm blanking on the title. Uh, the Ark. Right, The Ark. Mm, I'm afraid I don't remember it. That's because you were in high school, sweetheart. Uh, why do you have a panda on your dashboard? Company logo. <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> wow, um, it's such a surprise. It's, it's good to see you. Me too. When was the last time? It was at some writer's conference. A few years ago. Yeah, yeah, Sanibel Island. Florida, you were gathering seashells for your girlfriend one morning, which was funny because I thought you were gay. You can take a left up here. Okay. You must be gathering a lot of stories driving a panda car. I'm not gathering stories. Oh, thank God. I've heard enough stories tonight. Please never take me to another book signing. Do you have any idea what I'm going to do to you when we get home? I mean, do you have any idea? <laughs> you are a flirt. Here we are. Oh, um, uh, this is not where we live. I, it's an Airbnb. I wouldn't really live in a place like this. He means Williamsburg. Listen, I'm doing a TV show for Netflix. Have you ever thought about TV? Uh, I don't think I could write for TV. Yeah, you could. Anyone who can write a book can write for TV. Thank you so much for the ride. I'm gonna read your book. You're welcome. I was only kidding. I'm not reading a book. Hey, I'm serious about the TV thing. You know Ben Greenman? Yeah, the guy who wrote the Kiss biography. He was in Florida too, at the writer's conference. He said the key to life was figuring out how you're fucked up and rolling with it. He, he said that in Florida? I don't know, it was Twitter. If you want to come in, we could have a threesome. Yeah, I could just lie between the two of you and fall asleep. You know, that is a bad idea for so many reasons. Hey, leave me a good review. You know I will. I mean it about the TV show. Hi, baby. Hey, you'll never guess what happened at night. Michael Cunningham got on my car. The guy that wrote The Hours? Yeah, he's writing for television now. He said he got money falling out of every pocket. Must be nice. He said I should write for TV. So why don't you? For the same reason I don't play professional basketball. I didn't know you used to play basketball. Oh, shit. I got a pickup. I gotta go. It's fine. I'm heading to work. I'll see you tonight.
some of the things you like. What, what I want to do? No, you tell me what you like, and I'll decide what we do. Okay. I'm, I'm really into bondage. It's good I brought rope, then. I like bondage, too. I just, I just really don't want to be in control. Mm -hmm. And I'm into humiliation. Like, I like that you're older than me. Older than you. And, and smothering. Like, like, when you sit on me so that I can't breathe. Like, clothed, of course. Well, we'll see about that. You might have to earn it. I'm going to get ready. You can leave the tribute on the dresser. I haven't seen that one in a while. I've seen him since I started here. He said he was going to rent me an apartment. He just needed to make a little more money. What does he do? He's a writer. I guess you're not moving anytime soon. <laughs> miss you. You're lucky tonight. Normally I need more notice. Sorry. How long do you have? Just an hour. It's all I can afford. Charging you the old price. You're getting a good deal. I know. I'm sorry. I brought you some chocolate. Get ready, and I'll be back. Now show me how you greet your mistress. Now, there is my little piggy. Did you miss me? Of course. I always miss you. How was work? It was fine. Nothing too dramatic. Business guy cheating on his wife. Or maybe she knows. I don't care. Any more interesting passengers? No. I was the only one. The only interesting one. Do you think you'll always love me? Yes. It's 
been a long time. It's just sex. It doesn't mean anything. I'm not sure. Did you know that termites are monogamous? I didn't know that. It's true. The queen breeds, and then she heads underground where she stays for the rest of her life. She keeps a single male by her side, a sole partner, father of the entire colony. Does uh, King get any say in the matter? Should he? I guess not. I don't want to break up. I don't either. I want to keep you with me. Underground.